Christina Chappetta here and today we're gonna drop it like it's hot but what even is a drop surely it's a roll or a jump that you can just hop off the end but not technically a drop is something just like this guy you want to catch air to make sure your bike's not getting hung up on the terrain we're gonna break down exactly what you need to know to hit a drop because the same skills you're gonna use on this feature will be the same skills you use on those big rampage features so drops can come in many different shapes and sizes. They can start out as small as these or as small as a curb, and they can get quite big over time. Always the first place I like to start is with my bike setup. Set yourself up for success now, and you'll be way more confident to send it later on. Suspension is open, and make sure the sag is set correctly for your bike. Putting the seat down is gonna give you a lot more room to move the bike around underneath you. We're gonna start in a slightly harder gear so that our derailleur is not too stretched out upon landing. Okay, enough preparation. Let's start using the tools we have and apply that to body position before, during, and after the drop. As you're approaching the drop, you wanna already be in your nice neutral position. Pedals are flat, heels are dropped, chin is over your stem, your eyes are looking up towards your landing, and you've got enough suspension in your arms and your legs that as you go off the drop, you can lunge the bike forward. <sighs> Make sure to keep strong arms and legs for the landing so you don't blow off the grips. You're gonna be happy you did all those push-up challenges. So a great place to start working on drops is actually just your local curb. Now, I remember riding off a curb for the first time ever and all I could think about was going over the bars immediately, but it didn't actually happen and this is awesome terrain for practicing the skills you're gonna need later on. As you're going off the drop, it's helpful to lunge the bike forward, which then shifts your weight back over the rear wheel. That way you know that your front wheel is not gonna go into the dead zone. At some point during the drop, your arms and your legs will nearly fully extend and that's when it's super important to keep your eyes up, scoop the feet at that point, and bring the bike back underneath you. Drops can be a bit intimidating because as you're coming into it, you can't see the landing. It's further down the hill than the takeoff. So a safe recommendation would be to roll in or walk in with your bike just like this and notice where on the trail you can see the landing. When going off the drop, be careful not to bunny hop or lift your front wheel because then it actually makes the landing further away and your chances of landing rear wheel heavy are a bit higher. Smaller drops actually require lower speed and more assertive movements to really push the bike out in front and keep that front wheel up. As you're leveling up and hitting those really big features over time, it might actually help to follow a trustworthy rider so that you can gauge their speed. Now in the ideal situation, you'll land both wheels at the same time but this takes a lot of practice and a lot of experience with speed and knowing the angle of the landing. So don't get discouraged if one wheel hits slightly before the other. So we're out in the woods now and we're gonna take what we talked about earlier and apply it here on trail. Now it's super important to know where you are on the trail and where you're gonna be in the air. It's gonna keep everyone safe, confident, and let you ride your best. So without further ado, let's look at some terrain. The line coming into this drop is actually quite technical. There's a lot of roots around to catch you up, especially if you're gonna be pedaling. So I'm gonna use this little tree back here as my point of commitment. When I get there, I'm taking the inside line. It's a little bit smoother, not gonna catch my pedals, and I'm in a nice, strong position ready for the drop. We've talked about the run-in, now let's address the run-out. So this particular feature, we're gonna take off on the left side to give us a nice drop and a really smooth transition. We're gonna miss all the rocks and all the yucky stuff. If you're new to hitting drops, I would suggest starting on a bit simpler terrain so that you have a smoother and a safer run out if things do get a bit weird off the drop. Now that you've sent the feature, make sure to keep your eyes up because there's almost always another obstacle ahead waiting to catch you off guard. Heels are dropped again and the bike's been fully absorbed underneath the rider. So now that we've got the skills and we've got the confidence to give drops a go, 
The learning curve is gonna be really steep and you'll progress very quickly. But remember, not all drops and trails are the same. So take what you know and bring it out on trail and just give it a go in a new environment. Now let's drop it like it's hot. <laughs> 